Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out on face to faceafrica.com, December 29th, 2017. White men wearing black faces. Don't be fooled by the hyper-realistic mask. What they do is they purchase these masks to make their faces look as if they are black and they will go out and commit crimes, hoping that when the crime is reported, they'll report a black man and not them, and they'll just get away scot-free. So that's the whole purpose in this whole thing. But let's get into the story. It is offensive to most black people when white folks paint their faces black to represent the black race. This traces back to the early 19th century blackface performers who entertained white people by painting their faces with burnt cork, grease paint, or shoe polish to exaggerate their lips to represent uneducated slaves on the plantation. The history of slavery in America is unforgettable episode in the history of the United States, and it's inappropriate to retrace its dark past through mockery of the race that helped build this great nation. And they still do. They mock you every chance they can get. However, the blackface phenomena is worse today with the advent of the controversial, hyper-realistic silicone mess that look and feel like a real black, um, feels like real black skin, they claim when they touch it. I have never touched one, but this is what they're saying. So it, apparently this mask feels like real flesh. These masks created for Hollywood films have gained in increased demand so much so that they are sold in stores for as little as $660. And this is one of the realistic masks. I'm gonna go ahead and play this video, ladies and gentlemen. It looks realistic, but when he opened his mouth, I can actually see his mouth inside of it and it doesn't match. So um, I don't know if any of you noticed that, but I sure did. All right, here we go. Some few years ago, a white man robbed several Ohio banks wearing a hyper-realistic mask of a black man. He ordered from a Hollywood mask-making company, SPF X Masks. He also ordered a matching set of black hands, which he used to rob the banks. So he was trying to get away scot-free and not even leave his fingerprints because he had on the black hands. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. You went through all that trouble and still got busted. So you can see in this side-by-side -side photo, this is what he looked like when he had the mask on, looked like a complete stereotype. And this is the guy right here that went around and robbed a whole series of banks in this black mask, hoping that he would get off scot-free and they would go out looking for a black man. An innocent black man was arrested for Conrad, like that says Zerderak, crimes and was identified falsely in a lineup by six of seven eyewitnesses, including his mother, after watching the surveillance footage of the crime. Now, ain't that messed up? He committed all the crimes and they 
fingered an innocent black man in the lining. This is so America, it's not even funny. He was jailed until after some months when the actual bank robber's girlfriend called the police after finding the mask in huge sums of money. So his own girlfriend ratted him out. His girlfriend ratted his ass out. <laughs> so he almost got away with it until she ratted his ass out. For Rusty Sluicer, the owner of SPFX Mask, we're proud of the fact that our masks look real, but I'm not proud of the way they were used, he told the LA Times after another Chinese man used it to sneak onto a plane disguised as an elderly man. <laughs> Ooh, man. Scientists have found that the masks are so convincing that they fooled 99% of the people they used in a research. Dr. Rob Jenkins from the Department of Psychology at York University said the sample people were very bad at spotting people wearing one of the hyper-realistic masks in photographs and in real life. He added that the easy way of spotting people wearing the mask include the use of thermal detectors to gauge the temperature of someone's face, which will be different with the mask on. The mask can make it difficult for the wearer to form certain words, he added. That's why when he was talking with that mask on, I could actually see it was a different set you know, a different mouth behind it, <laughs> you know? All right. With this unnecessary evil, it is not wise to jump to conclusion when crimes are committed. The criminals could be a bunch of white people unapologetically breaking the law in the guise of innocent black men, which they will gladly do, especially if they feel they can get away with it. And here's a uh, Twitter, um, Doug Demodome, white men are buying realistic masks and committing crimes. Watch your backs, my brother. <laughs> and he tweeted this out December 28th, 2017. <laughs> wow. <sighs> unbelievable. There are so many crimes being committed in America and it's not even being done by black people, but you can see the lengths these people will go through just so that somebody black gets fingered and not them. I mean, no doubt about it. Please tell me what you think. Please Leave your comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit on the notification bell and please join me on Black Junction TV and BlackSpot.com. Peace, family.